So this is certainly how you want to see your carbon yields after you use styrofoam. Now we put no catalyst in there, nothing extra. As you saw, we put in two pounds, completely filled the volume of the reactor, but the carbon literally <laughs> has almost nothing left. In fact, I actually have some extra stuff in here. Let me clean this out. So, anyways, in terms of how it carbonized, this carbon is still, it still has some type of like really heavy tar or oil in it. I mean, in terms of the carbon itself, like there's no styrofoam left over. But as you see, like there's a piece of the carbon, for example, look at that. It has a lot of, a lot of oil in it. And I noticed that the same thing happened before when we did packing peanuts. Like it did not, it did not make like a dusty carbon. It made like more like an oil, oil oily carbon. Maybe this could be the best for burning I don't know but we got this yield for a second time not that dusty stuff you know maybe I could have put it in there for a little bit longer and maybe this would be a perfect catalyst to go with stuff since it kind of has some oils in it It'll increase the oil yields we crack those oils out I mean obviously for whatever the oil is in there it has to be really heavy for it to not have just been cracked out immediately As you see there are 1.1 pounds The last thing I wanted to mention guys was the lack of me using a catalyst. So I have busted the theory and the myth that microwave pyrolysis absolutely requires a catalyst when you're putting plastic in there. It certainly did in my previous design and we tested that time and time again. But in this new design, three magnetrons send microwaves from all angles. I guess they just gang bang the, uh, the hell out of things atomically. So clearly it doesn't need it. And personally, the only cat type of catalyst I will add for now on, if I'm going to add any, are going to be more like chemical catalysts, like the lime, for example. Things that will help prevent or uh, aid in the cleaning of the products afterwards. Oh, yeah, we got a good amount. I can feel it. Got a good amount of oil. Oh yes, mama. Oh yes, baby. <laughs> Yo, that is a good amount of oil. That is a good amount. Two pounds of styrofoam. Like, like styrofoam out of all the plastics has the best weight to oil percentage out of everything we've done so far. Maybe polypropyl. I thought polypropylene is the best. But this is good. Two pounds of that stuff for this much oil. This is 550 mil. And you have to remember, when this, we get this oil from styrofoam, it really is low in water content. Like I can't even see where the water line begins, if there even is a water line in there. In fact, I can test with this pipette, and I'll be able to see um, at what point my pipette is like clogged or something. Looking at that, but even that doesn't look like water. Well, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. So there is some water in here, there always is some water. We're, I mean, we're, we're literally recovering the water from plastic. That's not a bad thing either. That's a good amount of oil. See how she burns. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and just cut some oil in here and uh, see what happens. A decent amount there. If it'll light to this plasma arc, it'll light to an internal combustion engine. Here we go. Oh, that lit easy. Easy. That definitely go in a gasoline engine. Now I will mention filling up the whole volume with styrofoam. Maybe it didn't give us that much carbon, but it certainly gave us a lot of this gas because I got about four yoga balls full um, of this gas. So that's actually a good amount. I'll let you guys know now. Little sneak peek spoiler alert. I just cannot wait to distill all of this oil we've been getting like because the goal is I've been collecting it I want to collect like over a gallon of pyrolysis oil and distill it out and be like okay with a gallon of pyrolysis oil we get this much diesel this much gasoline this much jet fuel so then we can know for every run about you know how much of each we're getting of course it really changes based on what you put in there some plastics give more diesel some plastics give more gasoline but it would be like a rough point to at least start from. Anyways, I compressed all the rest of the yoga balls because they were taking up too much space and I had no more. So I don't have footage of me doing that, unfortunately. Like I said, we got four. But to prove this is calorific, <laughs> must I say any more? Must I say any more?
this is a lot of energy in this ball. You know what I'm saying? Like I would say minimum, minimum, three to four kilowatt hours. That's a minimum, right? I mean, according to our math, right? If this was if this w was around the same as natural gas composition, this would be six point eight kilowatts in here, right? Um, was that six point eight? It was it was a little bit less than that. I think it was six point eight actually. Um, but I'm saying even if it wasn't natural gas, because it isn't natural gas, right? Let's say it's just. I mean, we know there's methane in here because I read the research papers. We know there's methane in here. We know there's hydrogen in here. We know there's other hydrocarbons like propylene in here. All those things are very energy dense. Of course, it's all based on the percentage of stuff. We also know there's carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Those are the things that, for a fact, that we know are in here just because that's the product of pyrolysis. But, anyways, with that being said, you know, let's be fair. This is at least, at least three kilowatt hours in this whole ball. Last thing I wanted to mention, guys, was the lack of me using a catalyst. So I have busted the theory and the myth that microwave pyrolysis absolutely requires a catalyst when you're putting plastic in there. It certainly did in my previous design, and we tested that time and time again. But in this new design, three magnetrons send microwaves from all angles. I guess they just gangbang the, uh, the hell out of things atomically. So clearly, it doesn't need it. And personally, the only cat type of catalyst I will add for now on, if I'm going to add any, are going to be more like chemical catalysts, like the lime, for example. Things that will help prevent or uh, aid in the cleaning of the products afterwards. <laughs>